and so many different variables to that. You know, it's like yeah. like that fish we had yesterday that was just ripping offline 100 miles an hour, heading straight out. And I've seen it happen before. You know, it's it's it's, it's a game you're gonna have to play. It's a, it's a, it's it's a, it's a junk info. It's rock paper scissors. It's a, um, you just gotta take the chance. I mean, you, these fish double back on it so quick that you know to tell you a way to avoid running over the line is, is, is really kind of a, a game of chance. You know, I've seen fish take off screaming and ripping out a couple hundred yards of line and the rod tip is still straight off the back pointing to the horizon and the line is going that way and it's not entering the water for quite a ways. In your mind, she's going, but I've turned around and seen them jumping off the bow, you know, and you could be chasing that fish down and all of a sudden game over you collapse the belly and you run the fish over it's done and over so in that scenario it's basically it's, it's kind of your choice and what you think the fish is doing you want to keep your eyes on it at all times um, just just in case you, you might you might see a flicker of a tail off to the left where you think it's over this way um, when we're fighting the fish you know we try to collapse the belly if um, I've got a fish and I'm chasing it down and I've got the line you know where I think the fish is going to be and all of a sudden I see it jump over here to the left I'm not going to whip the boat around and go after the fish I'm basically going to keep following my line until the belly comes out come tight off of that the belly is actually not a bad thing to have it can hurt you on a really big fish in a really big run but having belly even having a little fish eat take off line and then turning the boat towards that fish and kind of going with it slow, you're, you're creating a belly on that smaller fish that can actually keep keep the line tight, especially for somebody that can't wind fast enough on a fish. Um, and but a big fish doing mock tin with a belly, not a really good thing, you know. <laughs> so it that that's a, that's a hard question to try to tell people, you know, should I go for it? Should I this and that? It's it's um, it's a gut feeling that you might have, and you're you're looking you're on the bite. I'm constantly looking around me at the same time, not only for you know hazards of maybe a boat near me or whatnot, but I'm trying to figure out where that fish could be. And and I've had people actually call me, you know, when we had the old push to talk, uh, well, the push to talk, the old next bells and stuff. And those were great. You know, that was awesome. You get to hear everybody cheering you on. We don't use radios over here very often, um, but all of a sudden, so we be like, you know, click in on your phone, you hear, hey, the fish is jumping off to the left of you, or it's off your bow, you know, and you're like, holy cow, you turn around, and, yeah, it sure is, so, um, you know, that's just up to you, and, and it's it's a call that you're going to have to make of, of, of where you're going to go on that fish, but basically follow the line, stay with your line. Uh, look for signs of fish on the surface. If you don't, um, typically your belly is going to tell you after a while to straighten you out and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, like I said, that, that's the, your part. <laughs> it's the guessing part. So.